France vs Croatia World Cup final prediction, determining edge in defense, midfield, attack, and many more. Here's a quick breakdown of both of the teams and how they match up. Regarding talent, both teams have some fantastic players, 10 of which play in what I think is the top league in the world, La Liga. But there's no doubt France has more talent. From young star Kylian Mbappé and Antoine Griezmann up top to a midfield led by one of the best central defensive midfielders in the world in N'Golo Kanté alongside Paul Pogba, the team is superb. But when you add that the French have one of the top goalkeepers in Hugo Lloris and a central defensive pairing in Barcelona star Samuel Umtiti and Real Madrid's Rafael Vrain, you just see a team oozing with talent. Croatia has Dijon Lovren in defense. Regarding goalkeeper, look, I think Dan Nigel Subasic is a fine goalkeeper. He's been so good for Monaco over the years and can pull off some massive saves. He's also shown how good he can be against penalty kicks, but Hugo Lloris is of a different breed. The Tottenham man is one of the top 3-5 goalkeepers in the world right now, and all you need to see is what he did to Martin Caceres in the quarter-finals to be reminded why. Regarding defenders, um Titi and Vrain are simply bigger, stronger and better than Domagoj Vida and Lovren. The Croatian defense isn't a bad pair by any means but France's is so much quicker and better. That doesn't mean this will be one-sided, but the clear edge goes to Le Blas. Regarding midfield, I love what Kant brings, and he can stop Luka Modric. He's that good. But Modric and Rack hit a car top-tier midfielders and better in attack than France is. While France has the edge defensively in the middle, it doesn't have an edge in attack. Modric can control a match for 90 minutes with his turns and superior passing, but he's going to have to be sharp against Kant, who will be out to wreck his world. Regarding attack, Griezmann is great, Olivier Giroud is solid, Kylie and Mbappe is a superstar, but Croatia is complete in the final third as well. The Croatians don't have a player in attack better than Griezmann or Mbappe, they really don't have anyone close. But they are so dangerous with Mario Mandzukic's poacher ability and Ivan Per Isaac on the wing. Per Isaac, the Inter Milan star, could be the difference in this match. Regarding attack, Didier Deschamps is more experienced in the bigger name, and he's gotten his team to finally play well, but Zlatko Dalek has worked wonders at Croatia. France vs Croatia head to head, the two national teams have previously played each other five times. France has won three of those matches, while the other two resulted in a draw. France and Croatia's head-to-head -head results are July 8, 1998, France 2, Croatia 1 at Stade de France, Paris. November 13, 1999, France 3, Croatia 0 at Stade de France, Paris. May 28, 2000, France 2, Croatia 0 at Maksim, Zagreb, Croatia. June 17, 2004, France 2, Croatia 2 at Estadio Dr. Magal Spesoa, Liria, Portugal. March 29, 2011, France 0, Croatia 0 at Stade de France, Paris. My prediction. France is just too talented, and they are on the roll. The country wins its second World Cup crown in regulation with a dynamic attack threatening time and time against until a late winner comes from Kylie and Mbapp. And according to analysis my prediction is, France 2, Croatia 1. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more videos.